Hello everyone, how are you today? Good morning. Welcome to our lesson, Year 4, Module 6, Getting Around. So our subtopic for today are Street Safety and How to Read Clock. So boys and girls, are you ready? So these are the worksheets that you are going to refer. Number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, and seven pages of worksheets. You can refer to textbook, module six, getting around page 59 and 60. Part 1. Vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Fasten your seat belt. Pavement. Zebra crossing. Helmet. Handlebars. Stick your hand out of the window. This is the clock. Clock. Part 2. Listen and answer. Street safety. Yes or no? Tick if you think it is safe or Cross if you think it's not safe. Then, read and draw. There are four statements you have to draw. Okay, number one, fasten your seat belt. Okay, tekatkan tali pink. Pinggang keleda. Yang mana satu? Number two, keep both hands on the handlebars. Okay, bila awak uh, naik basikal, awak kena pegang kedua-dua belah handle. Number tiga, don't stick your hand out of the window. Uh, tengok. Yang mana satu gambar? Uh, dia keluarkan tangan dari tingkap. Number four, don't play on the street. Jangan main atas jalan. Listen to the song and circle the correct answer. Listen then, and sing. Complete the mind. Street safety. We're in the car with the Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Fasten your seatbelt. Be careful, Joe. Don't stick your head out of the window. We're on our bikes with Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Keep both hands on the handlebars. Wear a helmet, watch out for cars We're in the street with Joe and Jules Let's be safe and follow the rules Don't play in the street Walk on the pavement Look both ways Then cross at the crossing Part 3, Clock Watch the video and answer the worksheets. We are going to learn some fun things about the analog clock. The front is called the face of the clock or the dial. Just like you have a face, an analog clock has a face. That's right. The face includes the numbers, the parts that spin, and all the markings on the clock. The face, sometimes called the dial, has two main parts that point to the numbers and spin around. They are called hands. Isn't that interesting? The shorter hand is the hour hand. It shows us what hour it is. The hour hand is short. The longer hand is the minute hand. It points to the minutes. It's silly, even though an hour is longer than a minute, the hour hand is shorter. 
The hour hand is the short hand, and the minute hand is the long hand. So just like you, analog clocks have a face, and usually have two hands. The short hand points to the hour. The long hand points to the minutes. Let's go back to our analog clock and see if we can figure out what time it is showing. Just like we do with the digital clock, let's look at the hour hand, the short hand first. What number is it pointing at? Yes, at the number three. Great, so it is the third hour. It is three something. Now we just have to read the minutes. The minute hand is the long hand. But how do we read the minutes? It only goes up to 12, and those big numbers are what we use for the hours. What do we do? Mr. Whiskers, <laughs> we're recording. What? You know how to read the minutes on an analog clock? I didn't even know you knew how to tell time. You're a cat. <laughs> you have a trick? Well, we should hear the trick. It's important for us to learn how to do this. Okay, <laughs> an analog trick with Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> okay, that's a little crazy, but that's okay. All right, so what's the trick? Oh, okay, so we need to count by fives to find out the minutes. That's a wonderful trick, that's amazing. You see, all of those little lines in between the numbers on the face of the clock represent one minute. To find out the minutes, we just have to count by fives around the clock, starting at the 12. The 12 is like the starting line. When the minute hand is at the 12, that means zero minutes. Then the one is five, two is 10, then 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then back to zero. All we have to do is count by fives. Okay, so we're ready to figure out what time this is. Okay, so we already know what the hour is. The hour is three, yes. Okay, so we write three, now we have to figure out the minutes, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which means what? How many minutes? Zero. Yeah, and with minutes, we always write two digits, so we'll write two zeros. What is this time? Yeah, three o'clock. Great job! Okay, let's try this one. What time does this clock say? Where's the hour hand? Yeah, on the five. And where's the minute hand? Yep, at the 12. So you know there are zeros at the end of that. What time is it? Yes, it's five o'clock. Great job. All right, let's try this one. Okay, both hands are pointing at which number? Yeah, 12. What time is this? Yes. 12 o'clock, great job. Notice if the minute hand is pointing at the 12, you always say o'clock. So this is 12 o'clock, just like before we had three o'clock and five o'clock. This is 12 o'clock, terrific. Now we are going to change things up. Just remember our trick, count by fives, okay? Let's figure out what time this clock is showing us. First, let's look at the hour hand. Wait, it isn't directly pointing at a number, it is between the two and the three. No worries, when the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number. So the hour is two. Where is the minute hand pointing? That's right, at the number six, we are going to use Mr. Whisker's trick and count by fives. We start at the 12, which is zero. Then we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So how many minutes is this showing? 30, that's right. So what time is the clock showing? 2.30, you got it. This one looks like fun. What time is it according to this clock? First, let's look at the hour hand. The hour hand is between numbers again. It is between which numbers? Yes, eight and nine. Remember, when the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number. 
So the hour is eight. Where is the minute hand pointing? That's right, at the number three. We are going to use Mr. Whisker's trick and count by fives. We start at the 12, which is zero. Then we count five, 10, 15. So how many minutes is this showing? 15, yeah! So what time is the clock showing? 8.15, you got it! How about this one? What time is it according to this clock? First, let's look at the hour hand. The hour hand is between numbers again. It is between which numbers? Yes, 11 and 12. Remember, when the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number. So the hour is what? 11! You are right! Okay, so where is the minute hand pointing? Yep, at the number 9. We are going to use Mr. Whisker's trick and count by fives. We start with 12, which is 0, then we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So how many minutes is this showing? 45, you got it. So what time is this clock showing? 11.45, yes, great job. We looked at examples of when the hour hand isn't pointing directly at a number on the face of a clock. You know, sometimes the minute hand isn't pointing directly at a number. Look at this example. The hour hand is between which two numbers? Yes, seven and eight. Which number is the hour? Yep, seven. The hour is always the earlier number on the clock when it is between two numbers. Now the minute hand is near the eight, but notice it went past the eight by two. To figure out the minutes, we will count by fives just like before, and then add two at the end. The 12 is zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Then you just add 40 plus two. You gotta add two. What is 40 plus two? Yeah, 42. So the time is 742. Wonderful job, that's great. Let's look at one last analog clock. Just looking at this clock, what is the hour? Yes, 12 because 12 is the earlier hour on the clock. How about the minutes? Use the count by fives trick and notice the minute hand is one minute after the four. You'll need to add one minute. All right, 21. So the time is 1221. Let's check the minutes to be sure. Five, 10, 15, 20, then add one, which is 21. You have done a great job. All right, finish watching the clock. I hope you know already how to read the clock, okay? This is the face of the clock, okay? This is the face of the clock, the hour hands, and the minute hands. Jarum pendek menandakan hour, yaitu Jam. Jarum panjang ialah minutes. Minutes yang ke berapa. Okay, minutes pula tengok. Okay, kita kira dalam kiraan lima. Okay, uh, five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. Oh, zero, zero. All right, now. Now I want you, I want you to answer. Okay, what's the time now? It is, okay, 2, 30, right? 2, 30, okay? 
2 hour dia 2 minutes dia 30 ok 2 30 alright look at the worksheet this is your worksheet now write the correct minutes in the small circle ok you have the you have to write the correct minutes ok 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. And then you have to write the time. Okay. How to read the clock? First, look at the hour. Hour is 3. So you write here 3. Look at the minutes. Minutes is 10. So, the time is 3.10. Alright, now look at the next worksheet. Okay, this worksheet you have to draw the clock hands. How many hands? Remember, the clock has two hands. Okay, which are? The hour hands and the minutes hand. Okay? Our hand is shorter than minutes hand. Alright. Look at number one. 8.30. 8.30. So, firstly, you have to look at the hour. Okay? The hour is 8. So, you draw. The hour hand here, okay, and 30 minutes, 30 minutes, okay, look at the minutes, 30 is at the 6, number 6, so you draw correctly. Try number 2, 10, 15, okay, 10, 15. Okay, you say the hour first, means you draw the hour hand first. Then, you draw the minute hand. Okay, number three, nine, zero, zero, means nine, zero, zero, or at the number twelve. Okay, number four. 5 and 6, I know you can do on your, on your own. Alright, next. You have to write the correct time. What's the time now, Mr. Wolf? Okay, number 1. Is it your answer is same with the teacher? Number 2. Okay. Make sure, okay, if you don't know, you refer to the, to this picture, okay? If you don't know, okay? If you know already, then you can do it on your own. Number 3, number 4 and, 4, 5 and 6, okay? Alright, listen to the time said by your teacher and Draw the clock hands. Alright. Are you ready? Okay, number one. Draw. Eight. Ten. Eight. Ten. Number two. One. Thirty. One. 30. Number 3. 5.45. 5.45. Number 4. 3 o'clock. Or 3 o o. Okay? 3 o o. Number 5. 11 20 11 
20. The last one, number 6. Um, 1, 15. 1, 15. Alright class, that's all for today. Thank you everyone. I really hope that you just stay at home and stay safe. Bye-bye.